Welcome back, Cardboard Warriors. How's everybody doing out there today? Hopefully everything's going awesome in your neck of the woods. So, I'm kind of being a little greedy. Going to open another Commander Legends box. I didn't get too many of these because they're not very cheap. As you can see, I didn't pay that. Don't worry. I got a little bit off of that because I'm all, like, lovable and stuff. Anyway, so, <laughs> uh, I'm going to open another one. I have yet to pull a Vamp Tutor. I've pulled Lotuses, but I haven't pulled a Vamp Tutor yet out of, out of one of these. And that's the one that I want the most. So, we'll see if we get it today. If not, oh well. Um... I can't really afford to open too many more of these, so I only really have a couple more sealed, and I'm probably going to try and hold on to them unless I get a sponsored opening on one. So, anyways, let's break in here and see what we get. Good old Commander Legend goodness. Command the draft. I'll try and do that. Oh, wait, we can't draft because of COVID. Thing. There's that. All right. Oh, the vids. Break out these packs and see if we get anything spicy. We'll count up the, the mythics and also the uh foils and all that stuff. So all the all the spicy hits we'll count up. Um alright. And I have no idea about the values on any of this anything in this set right now because I forgot to research it before I did the video. <laughs> Alright, Dawn Glade Regent. Uh, Sir Archangel, Captain Vargas. We do get our first foil, a Gilt Leaf Winnower, and a token. Um, yeah, I don't know where to put the token. I forget what all's in here. <laughs> I've opened one of these boxes in a little bit, so I forget everything. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I haven't checked the prices, so I might miss a hit, and you guys will be yelling at me in the comments. That's fine. It helps me learn. Thought Vessel. Oh, great card. All right, Court of Grace, and then we finally did get a Commander. We got our Zera Renegade Recruiter. Oh, and an Amareth the Lustrous as well, legendary uh, dragon, got a little Elder Dragon legend, basically, and a Foil Murder. All right, keep moving. Here we get. What's up next here? Another way more. Uh, Aura Phoenix, Ghost of Ramirez, and Blim, the comedic genius. Pretty cool artwork on that one. Oh, uh, yeah. This was the old days. This card would be. Like, there'd be news specials about how evil magic is, like there was in the 90s. <laughs> Aqueous Form. Cool. And Salamander Warrior. What? <laughs> I don't even know what that took us from, but it's funny. Uh, keep going here. Get some spicy stuff, hopefully. Nothing yet. Kamal's will. At least, not that I'm aware of. There we go. Oh, there we go. We got an etched foil. That's the other thing I'll keep track of, the etched foils. So, this is the nostril voice of the crags. I don't... And another Salamander Warrior. I don't think he's worth much of anything, but I could be wrong. I don't know. How are those x foils doing value-wise right now? Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're aware, if you're keeping up on the prices and stuff. Uh, I'll have to get back more into that because I think I'm finally going to launch the, the single site on, on eBay to start selling singles. I'll keep you guys updated if I do. Opposition agent. There we go. That's a good card. And a uh, common. And then our first of the Prismatic Pipers and a Monarch token. So... You know we're going to get a lot of these Prismatic Pipers. Uh, they tend to show up quite a bit. Right. It's such a shame that this set was literally designed to kind of draft a commander-style draft, and then because of the whole vid situation, we couldn't actually do it. Nah, it's a bummer. I was looking forward to it. Body of Knowledge. And Crark the Thumbless. Guy's got no thumbs. Well, flight and a soldier took it. All right. Uh, I think I need to do a why is this card bulk on this? Is this one's bulk? Because this card is awesome. Zero drop partner. First strike menace trample. So awesome. Anyway. Uh, unless I'm misunderstanding the partner command, uh, mechanic there. I don't know. Mechanic dragon. Another fun one. Too high of a cost, though. All right, got 
our first land, spectator seating. I guess we can keep track of those too. Might as well. I love the rare lands. Uh, and then a couple legendaries, uncommons, and a fall common. And a copy token. All right, last pack of stack one. We're a third of the way through the box. So we get anything super spicy. Well, we get the vamp tutor that's been eluding us. It's been eluding us. It's been teasing us on the on the sidelines there. Meter gone. First mythic. Archon of Coronation. And, oh, we did get a rare. A Lisa. Go Lisa. And then a full common and a treasure token. All right. Heard something about a new card that pops out treasure tokens breaking the game in the new set. Strixhaven coming out here soon. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know when I'm going to upload this video. I probably already opened some Strixhaven by the time you'll see this video because I don't think I'm going to post it by tomorrow. This is Tuesday, uh, what, the 13th, I think, 14th, and I should start opening tomorrow. Staff of Domination, good rare. And a couple of uncommons and a common raise the alarm. Whoa. So, you probably, I'll probably have already opened a bunch of tricks I by the time you see this. I just, I like to just record some videos when I get a chance uh, and kind of have them sitting around so I don't miss too many days without a video like I've been known to do here lately. Oh, another uh, Mythic, Profane Transfusion. Great artwork. No, I don't think there's a whole lot of value in that one, though. Could be wrong, but that casting cost is, yeah. And a Blasphemous Act for our first foil rare. So, there's that. Yeah, keep going. So far, nothing really super exciting. Unless the guys are like yelling at me in the comments, dude, that card you just passed for like 60 bucks. I doubt it. <laughs> I think the only one is that price or the, the tutor and the mandarin and the lotus. Undergrowth Stadium, second rare land. Nice. At least we're getting some decent lands. And Hans Erickson. I get like how many of him in every box? Uh, wild size and the mark. I think you got a Hans Erickson like every box. <laughs> All right, it's crazy. Yeah, there's so many cards, so many cards in these packs that feel so thick when I open them. <laughs> it's a little, a little weird. Flame Ken Herald and a couple uncommons and an uncommon foil and a spirit token. All right, about halfway through the box now. We need a. We got some big hitters. We're doing good on the lands and stuff. Uh, and we got a nice foil, but not looking too spicy on the rares and mythics yet. Uh, laboratory Drudge. I don't think that's going to help us much. And a foil common. Angel took it. All right. Where's the spice? Where's the good stuff? I'm curious now. Keeper of the Accord. The Honda Accord? Oh, there we go. There's a Tevesh Zat. Uh, good old Mythic Planeswalker. Not bad. Again, I don't think we're too big on the value there. Black Piper, Elf Warrior, and this Common Fall. I think Tevesh is worth something. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I just have not been able to keep up on prices. Apex Devastator, big old beastie. 10 for a 10-10. Cascade, 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 cascade. How many? How many is that? Charcoal Diamond Foil. Yeah, Elf Warrior Token. All right, last pack of stack number two. We're two-thirds of the way through the box now. And I don't see any mana drains or lotuses or uh, vamp tutors. We're looking kind of weak here. We'll see what happens. Oh, another land. Oh, three of them. That's a little better than average, I think. And Obeka, I think Obeka was worth a few bucks. And a Tome foil. Right. Last stack, last third of the box. Hopefully we get something nice here. So what are you guys thinking of uh, Strixhaven so far? Uh, it looks like a pretty cool set. Uh, I, I don't like the theme. <laughs> uh, just because it's too Harry Potter-ish, I don't like Harry Potter at all. Beat me up in the comments. That's fine. I just never liked Harry Potter. I watched, like, the first movie because there was so much hype about it and everything. So I watched the first one, and I was like, this is just not my style of uh, movie here. Uh, it's really more for kids, it felt like. So, And it's been a long time since I was a kid. <laughs> Olivia. 
Oh, another edge spoil, uncommon. Fulthus, shadow cat familiar. And another prismatic fiber. And a monarch target. So, I don't know, it's just not my thing. Um, it's just a little too kitty for me, I think. Uh, just because I know most of you probably were kids when that movie came out. So, you know, it's you guys love it, and that's fine. It's just not something I like. Triumph from Reckoning. Oh, two Mythics. Sakashima. I think the Sakashima is one of the most expensive uh, Mythics in the set, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. At least it was. And then a Kodoma. So we got two Mythics and a Rare in one pack. That that was a pretty good pack right there. Uh, if we could do that in every pack, this set would be 500 bucks a box already. But it's kind of holding at that uh, 120, 130 range currently. We'll see what happens with it. But I'm kind of surprised it's so low. I expected this one to go a little higher, a little faster. Quarter bounty. Especially with all the craziness going on with all the... You know, watch you limiting what the LGS is getting and, and pushing Amazon and pushing these set booster boxes, which is annoying. So Strixhaven, if you haven't heard, the pre-release is going to be only set boosters, not not draft boosters this time around, which really aggravates me. I don't really like the set boxes. Slash the ranks. I only pay them more for less packs. It just, it seems annoying and stupid. Uh, Portent of Betrayal. And three packs to go. No big hitters except the South Kashima right now, which is, uh, I don't think a huge hit. I think it's a medium-sized kind of hit <laughs> compared to the, the big hitters in here. Signet. Zat's Will. And a Queen. And a Foil coming. Wow, only one Foil Rare so far. That's it. One full rare and no really big hits yet. I hope we have a really surprising last couple packs here because looking pretty weak on this box. Uh, Hull Breacher, that's a good one. Uh, not a mythic though. And a foil arcane signet, that's a cool card. But not going to make up the value for making this a profitable box by any means. <laughs> I think I see why these are not really expensive boxes yet. <laughs> I just had really good luck with the first few that I opened, apparently. And another land. Wow. Uh, and a Gore Muldrek and a Fall Common. And a Piper. So, wow, that was definitely the weakest box of Commander Legends I think I've opened. Um, we got the Sakashima, but that's really, I think, probably our biggest hit. I don't think we had anything else bigger. I mean, I could be wrong. Prices fluctuates so fast in this game. It's been a couple weeks since I looked at the prices, so they could have completely inverted on me and switched around. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, but there you have it. Sakashima seems to be our biggest hit in this box, um, which is very disappointing. We did get two of the S-Spoils. I don't know if they're still a thing or if everybody just doesn't care about them anymore. I don't know. Uh, let me know in the comments below if, uh, what, I, what I'm missing as far as value here. And I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. Check out the description below. There's a lot of links to save you money and get your cash back on all your magic purchases. A lot of links to good prices on Strixhaven stuff on Amazon. Uh, if you use those links to purchase anything, even if it's not what's in the link, then uh, it really helps my channel. I get a few cents commission on it, and those add up over time. So we got four of the lands, four of the rare lands, which is pretty good. Um, above average for sure. Two of the S foils, which is above average. One was rare. Uh, so we have one Commander Chimera. Good band. Anyways, uh, Sakashima, Triumph of Reckoning, Apex Devastator, Tibet Zat, Profane Transfusion, and Archon of Coronation. So a total of six Mythics, which is, uh, I think, a little bit above average. I think your average is probably five. Well, probably five to six, so we're probably on credit average. But not really a lot in the rare slot. Um... And that's kind of hurting us, I think. Uh, let me know which ones I missed that are worth a lot that have climbed up. I know the Staff of Domination is good. Um, and the Opposition Agent, I think, is is, uh, is worth a little bit. But I don't see much in there. Um, our Commanders. Uh, we got the Obeka, which I think is okay. But uh, I don't think any of the others are really worth a lot. So let me know. Let me know what I'm missing. And uh, I'll, of course, look them up too. But, you know, it's fun for you guys to, to comment what's 
what I missed and all that. I like seeing that stuff. So I really appreciate all the views, guys. Thank you so much. My email's down there if you want to talk about buying any of the singles that I open on the channel or sponsoring a box opening or something. And uh, I also got my actual address down there if you want to send me something to open on camera. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate everything you guys do. Every like and sub and share means the world to me. So thank you so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.